Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create characters in MovieZoo, and it's really quite easy. MovieZoo is running in the background here. Now, to make your character, all you have to do is go up to Create, Characters, and this box will appear. Now, sometimes it might be showing another tab, and if that's the case, you're a bit confused, just make sure you go back to Characters right here. We've got 12 characters that you can choose from. They're all based on a kind of humanoid biped, you know, stands on two legs sort of thing except this, this guy the blob and we'll talk about him in a minute but first of all let's uh, let's spawn one of our bipeds now to spawn something um, you just create, the, click on the thumbnail picture and press create or you can also double click and she'll appear in the background okay so the first thing to notice about our characters and movies is that they're alive, they're breathing, they're blinking their eyes are darting around and that's a concept that you should keep in mind for the rest of your movie zoo experience because it trickles all the way down and informs how you work with animation in movie zoo. But for now, all you need to notice is that she is alive. Now, moving the character around um, is the same as any other object. You just slide her with the left mouse button, you rotate her with the right mouse button, or with the two mouse buttons together, you can lift her up and down, put her on top of things. To access the character editor, let's just say that you want to change her hair or her eyes or what she's wearing. You can do that in two ways. You can either right click once on the character or with her selected you can go to view, show scene window, character, Helga and edit. Just like that. Either way what happens is that you're immediately grabbed and you're put into this kind of turntable view where the camera is locked and the character is at the centre of your, of your focus. With the left mouse button, you can orbit around the character. With the two buttons together, you can pull in and out to zoom. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you through the character editor box and explain what all these different things do. But the first thing we're going to do is give her a better name. Movie Zoo Girl, we'll call her. Okay. Let's do this in a slightly different order, okay? So I'm going to do appearance second. Let's do the body tab first because it's quite often where I start when I'm making um, character designs in movie zoo. The body tab will let you change the big things to do with our body. So the first thing being skin colour, and movie zoo's got a whole bunch of skin tones um, on its palette right here. So let's change our skin colour. You can see that it's also clever enough to know that it, what you want to change the colour of her eyes and her nose and her arms as well. So we can do that. We can also change her teeth. You're not really going to see this, but maybe you can see the little white glint behind her lips. We can change her teeth to be something like orange or, or bright green if you want. Two other sliders I'm going to pull out. I'm going to zoom out so that you can see the, um, the camera here. The scale one obviously makes her bigger or smaller. And the expressive one, that's quite cool. The expressive one controls the size of her expressiveness. So with that up full, she has got big eyes, they blink an awful lot, her eyes move around and she's got a big smile on. With it turned right down, everything just gets diluted a little bit. Her eyes don't move so much, her smile drops a little bit. And that expressiveness carries all the way through the rest of the movie's animation process. You can turn off blinks as well, so that she'll no longer blink, and you can also turn off or on her shadow casting ability. If you hit this delete button, which is kind of always on the character editor, then your character will disappear. You'll actually delete it. So I'm not going to do that right now. So that's her body set. Let's go to appearance. Now the appearance is where you get to affect the girl's attachments and clothing. Attachments are things like hats, hairdos, um, all of her face attachments like noses, eyes and ears and what have you. She doesn't have any ears, so let's put on a nice set. Of droopy ears. For any attachment that you fix onto a character you get the property box comes up and as with anything else you can change the colour of things. You'll notice that it already defaults to the, uh, the skin colour that we set earlier and you can also change its location and rotation and you can do all sorts of funky things with scale as well. And if you get caught in a, a muddle with any of these sliders you hit the reset button and um, it'll all be reset back to the way it was. The remove button will, in this case, remove the ears from the character. Or what you can do is you can go up to this none option uh, in the character editor to take the ears away. Let's 
give us some donkey ears. There we go. Right, other stuff in here. Um, so you can play around with the attachments, you can add hat and hairstyles and what have you to your heart's content. The next thing to talk about in terms of attachments are the instruments. I'm just going to mention these right now. There'll be another tutorial covering the use of instruments in Movie Zoo because it, it all sort of goes into a whole different animation system. So I'm just going to note that they're there, but ultimately take it off. Clothing options is a little different. Um, let's see, underneath the first one to be found is in lips. You can change her lip colour in here. If you go to top, you can change what she's wearing. There's she's got long sleeve, short sleeves, or a kind of strappy vest. Similarly, under legs, um, and you need to just play around with this and the other characters. We can give her Daisy Dukes or a skirt or remove them completely. Another kind of cool thing is that in some categories, like feet, and because this is a symmetrical thing, because you can either apply things to the both feet or just the left foot or right foot only, feet expands out and with the feet category selected, if you make a selection well feet are selected, so let's give her flippers, then that will apply to both feet. If you want something that's not symmetrical, then you can always go into the left foot and remove those slippers, or the right foot and remove those flippers. And the next tab that I want to talk about are the decals. Now all of our characters have got decals. The first one is the one that we're going to ignore, custom texture. That little decal field in there and this button about custom templates. You can find out what that does in another tutorial about painting custom skins on characters. For now we're just going to concentrate on the back and the chest. Because most of our characters, the ones that are chunky enough to take one, have got a, a, a decal area on its chest and its back which allows you to put in your own little images so you can customise the t-shirts on the front or again we can put something on the back and this is true of most of our characters one thing that I did skip over was the random button down here now the random button usually gives you a whole lot of nonsense but it's just going to assign a whole bunch of random attachments let's press it and see what happens so there we go you can keep pressing it and you'll keep getting a lot of nonsense. It's quite a cool way to uh, to come up with some, some fresh characters. However, let's delete this character. The next thing I'd like to show you is uh, how to use our favourites feature to save characters that you've created. So let's start, create a fresh character and let's go with the stick man. Okay, so let's imagine that you've created a favourite character. Um, let's make some changes to him. Let's give him a different hairstyle for one, so that we can see the change. And we'll also change his leg colour to bright orange. So let's say that this was um, this was a character that you'd created, and we'll call him Bob. If you want to save this character so that you can use it again or call it again, then you can go to Favourites, Save and it will already detect the name that you've given the character but if you want to change that then it's ok to do so at this stage. So let's call him Bob Orange Trousers. Save that. You can see that this has now appeared um, in your favourites list and indeed if this character was deleted and you were in a new set you would find that you can recreate Bob's Orange Trousers by going to Create Characters across the Favourites tab and we've got, an, we've got a massive long list of all the ca characters right here and right at the bottom is Bob Orange Trousers. He's also listed under the Stickman category. You click him, you hit create and he appears again. The next thing I'd like to show you is another way to duplicate your characters. In fact, let's create Bob's Orange Trousers again. Characters can be copied and pasted. So this guy can be edit copied and edit pasted over there and that's a quick way to get a duplicate uh, of your character. I'll delete these two guys and show you something else because what I want to do is I want to show you the blob. The blob's a little different 
he's got far less attachment points, not having arms and legs and things like that. He also has the ability to control his tummy colour. Let's change that into something bright red, for example. Um, on his face, you can do all the usual things about eyebrows and, and, and eyelashes and what have you. Um, his body. Back in the decals tab, this is really where he, where he gets a little different. It's not that much different. He has this custom texture field and the custom template button again. Again, we're going to ignore it. But we also have this pattern. You can see that right now it's calling up dots. If you wanted to change that, then you bring up the pattern box, go to character, blob tummies, and you can see that we've got already shipped movies with a bunch of patterns in there. Of course, you can import your own image, just like uh, just like backdrops and objects and all the other sort of ways that you can import things in movies. However, we'll delete him and I'd now like to go on and talk about the favourites tab.